I wanted to make a video about confidence and like self-doubt, imposter syndrome, and just like the negative thoughts that you have in your head that are hindering you and stopping you from reaching your goals, whether that be on a skateboard to try something difficult or whether that be in your personal life to maybe work for yourself or go after a dream job. Because it's something that I've been reflecting on lately, it's something that I have actually struggled, been struggling with personally. So I thought maybe making a video about it could not only be a way of kind of processing that and almost like self-therapy, but at the same time, maybe my experience can help your own decisions or your own experience and help better your situation. So for me at least, like what really helps me start the day right and just like have like a really good confident feeling about what needs to be done that day and like how can I make that day just like a better day. It actually really starts from the night before. So like for me, I always try and because I'm self-employed and I always try and like write my schedule, write my tasks and to-do lists the night before. That way when I'm waking up in the morning, I know exactly what I need to do that day and I'm not like stuck in the loop of just watching YouTube videos, procrastinating. Don't get me wrong, I still do that time to time and it's something that I'm trying to get away from. That's why having like, for me, having a to-do list the night before can be a really constructive way to start the day. And then taking care of yourself, like personal hygiene. So whether that be brushing your teeth, flossing, grooming, giving yourself love, you know what I mean? It goes a long way. It's, it's a pretty profound and powerful thing that you can feel after taking care of yourself. Even just little things like cutting your nails. Just doing that, I feel like I feel better about myself and more confident about myself. Obviously, fueling your body with like nourishing food that actually gives you fuel and actually makes you feel good. So whole foods. For me, I like to have a smoothie in the morning. And then for lunch, I'll often have just like eggs and um, either bread or eggs and some fruit. Uh, some vegetables. I don't know about you guys, for me, like when I eat like shit, if I put like crappy food in my body, like let's say candy or chips, anything that's like highly processed with a lot of oils, I find that I actually like feel shitty about myself and like my outlook on life. It's kind of crazy how like food can actually alter your mood. So for me, like food is, is a very important thing to allow me to feel good about how I go about my day. And the next is look good, feel good. Unfortunately, it's a reality. Maybe hinders a lot of us or like if you don't feel good in your fit, you don't necessarily feel good about yourself. Putting on some clothes that like you feel really good and confident in, especially before going to skate, I feel like just feeling good in your fit just gives you that extra bit of confidence. Another thing is working out. For me, like working out, I've been working out since I was 15 years old, so 20 years, almost 20 years now, which is kind of crazy to think about. But for me, working out has brought me a lot more than just feeling strong on the board, feeling strong in life. Yeah, just feeling confident in my own skin. It's brought me a lot more than that. It's brought me like mental strength in so many ways. It's it's kind of hard to explain, but like I'm sure if you worked out or if you've gone for a run, you've experienced this where like after you've worked out, the rest of the day kind of the little things that may have bothered you before kind of just you brush them off your shoulder. They don't bother you as much which I think like is such a powerful thing to like help you get through the day, especially if you like get to work out early in the morning, then just the rest of the day, just it just comes a lot easier. I'm actually recording this video after I've gone to the gym on purpose, just cause I feel like I feel better in my skin after I've worked out. Yeah, it's just a big part of who I am and it's kind of like a non-negotiable for me. Like I don't ever plan on stopping to go to the gym like my whole life. And as far as like procrastination goes, cause I feel like that I definitely do this a lot where I'll just like trying to be productive and trying to do things, but I end up just either scrolling on Instagram or watching YouTube videos for way longer than I should. And I think the biggest thing is really just taking action. Even if it's, you know, it's fearful to like do something that may be uncomfortable or whether that be apply for that job or a bid for some work that you may not think that you can get. Just taking action, whether that be for me, for example, like I haven't made a video in a long time and I've been struggling with the idea of making a video because I, well, first of all, I haven't been skating because I'm injured at the moment and just life stuff has happened. So I haven't really had the time um, to skate, but just making this video, it took me 
months to like actually get the courage and the confidence to want to speak to the camera again. I don't know what it is, but like, I felt like I didn't really have anything to say and I kind of was doubting myself thinking like whatever I'm gonna say is just not worth it and has no value. But anyways, today I woke up feeling differently. I felt that's actually the second time I shoot this video. So the first one I just wasn't happy with um, still dialing in this room for lighting and, and sound and all that. And then yeah, like this video I just felt like I finally had the confidence to like just fuck it. Just go out, make a video even if I'm not skating in it and even if maybe the message doesn't land for everybody, maybe it does for some of you. My goal is even if it hits a few people and it resonates with you, then ultimately then I've done my job in sharing my own experience and doing a bit of self therapy here. Now I'm just rambling. I don't really know where else to go with this video. How about a bit of a life update? My wife and I, we got married uh, in Greece. Uh, now that we're back home, I've just kind of been working away here on design projects. I'm actually doing, I don't know if I can talk about it much, but I'm actually doing uh, some web design work for Delta Airlines, which is kind of a cool contract to do. But other than that, yeah, I haven't been skating. Just been busy, I'm actually further away from the city now and further away from like all the skate homies and parks which I miss a lot. I really, yeah, I miss all the homies. I miss being just in the proximity of, of all the skate parks in Vancouver. So the distance doesn't help. And I'm also dealing with like this glute calf strain. Um, I actually tried skating the other day and I could barely push, it was so painful. So I'm actually going to physio tomorrow, hoping to get that resolved so I can get back on the board. Cause I really want to make a video uh, of me being back on the board. Um, even if it's just simple tricks. Because uh, I miss creating, I miss talking to you guys, and I miss, yeah, I miss being creative. Yeah, other than that, I've just been doing work around the house. Uh, we're on two and a half acres of land. If you guys uh, didn't watch my last video, I made a, did a bit of a tour around the property. Nothing, nothing major, but I recently uh, built a fire pit outside, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully in the next video, I will be skating. Um, I want to kind of share my progress of being back on the board. Um, that's what originally this video was supposed to be. It was supposed to be like building that self-confidence to getting back on the board if you haven't been on the board in a while. Um, but I tried to skate and couldn't really skate. So I uh, kind of just shifted the video to just be me talking to you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having fun on your board. And um, in the next video, I'll be skating. So um, yeah, peace guys.